Latest on a big story from the southern tier. The search for answers continues after police discovered the body of a school superintendent outside his home in Chautauqua County. The death has shocked the small town of Clymer. Now investigators are trying to piece together this murder mystery. News 4's Brittany Smallwood is following the developing story in the newsroom. Good afternoon, Brittany. Nalina, today Chautauqua County Sheriff's deputies are collecting more evidence to figure out who committed this crime. Clymer School Superintendent Keith Reed was murdered. Now authorities are hoping his autopsy will bring some leads. Chautauqua County Sheriff's deputies and the FBI are trying to uncover who killed Clymer School Superintendent Keith Reed. Today authorities are doing interviews and having an autopsy performed. We're going to look for, see if there's any evidence, any uh, bullets uh, that we can recover and, and, and go from there. Police say Reed was shot multiple times and left in the front yard of his town of Clymer home. No one had seen or heard from Reed since Friday, but after authorities found him on Monday, they spent the whole day at his home collecting evidence. Well, this is a very tough time for everybody in this community. This kind of thing doesn't happen in Chautauqua County very much. But many neighbors are questioning why would someone do this, especially to a man so loved by the community. Last November, Reed became the superintendent of the Clymer School District. He just couldn't get over the excitement of how wonderful the community was to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it broke my heart because this was just two weeks ago. On Facebook, people have posted numerous comments. Brandy says Keith Reed will never be forgotten. He didn't automatically judge people. He listened and did everything he could to help others. Mr. Reed was a great man. Rosina writes, he wasn't just a figure in our school, but a great person who would do anything to be involved with the kids and the parents. A tragedy that's hitting home for people in and out of Clymer. I don't know who would ever have anything against such a wonderful, wonderful man. So far, police won't say what evidence was recovered at the home or if, or if they have any suspects. So stay tuned to News 4 tonight. News 4's George Rickert will bring you the very latest in the investigation. Reporting live in the newsroom, Brittany Smallwood, News 4 at noon.